Welcome to the Brunswick Group Therapy Podcast with Lucas and Kimberly. Episode number 68. Already? Time flies. It sure does. Speaking of time flies, what the heck happened to summer? Uh, I know, the leaves are starting to fall. But <sighs> but that only means one, right. one thing. Uh oh. Donutland has returned to 24 7. And last Monday nice. was the last Monday for a long time that I'll yank on that door and they won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> they got me one last time. Oh my gosh. Oh, and flavor of the week, berry cream. Mm, that sounds good. So we have a huge birthday in the house. Happy 105th to Miss Rose. Uh, Rose Kozar turned 105. Her daughter and son-in-law, Monica and Ken, were among many people that just recently celebrated with her. It said that she still crochets and gets her hair done uh, every week. So, Aww. living her best life, still at 105. Happy birthday, Rose. YOLO. <laughs> yep. Very cool. Very cool. Well, so happy birthday, Miss Rose. Brunswick High School football kicked off last weekend, and they have a new mascot. Uh, well, I mean, we it's, do? Still, it's still the Blue Devil, but uh, now it's Bluey. A blow up, no, blue devil, which I thought was really cool. I thought they were swaying away from the blue devil, but uh, it's nice to see it out there. No, I'm glad they kept it. So, make <laughs> sure you check out a game sometime this year. Absolutely, welcome, Bluey. Uh, Joyce posted the September distribution for local food banks. Looks like there's uh, one coming up at Grace Baptist Church on September 12th. There's one in Medina on the 11th, one in, on, in Lafayette Road on the 14th, and on the 26th. So if you're in need of uh, food, you have those resources. And then we have the uh, the blessing box, the food box over at the Brunswick Hills Police Department. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to remind everybody that was over there. It's pretty well stocked and ready to go. If you need assistance, stop in there. And um, speaking of stopping in, I didn't get all the way in the door, but I peeked. And then they put a banner up stating their name is coming. So you tried to teach us all how to say the name of the new Mexican restaurant that's taking over the El Taco Loco place. Right. Somebody sent us a link uh, to how to say it. We want to listen to it and uh, practice together. Let's try it. Yeah, let's. All right. Tlaquipaki. 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 It's no hard. Go for it. Tilaki Pocky. Yeah. Tilaki I'm going Pocky. with Tupac. Tupac's. <laughs> Head over to Tupac's for some tacos. Tupac's. I'm going over to Tupac's for, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I like that too. I don't know. All right. They might be able to teach me, but you know what they say about teaching old dogs new tricks. We'll we figure have, it out. Uh, and if the food's half as good, you know, it's exciting. Right. Right. Good stuff. New places to eat are always, uh, always exciting in my mind. Right. Uh, we had some disagreements in the group this week. We had uh, Rick. No. Wait a minute. Not <laughs> our group. Disagreements? You're kidding yeah. me. And this one was, uh, this one went the wrong, this, I don't know. I, I disagreed with a lot of these people. Um, Rick asked, what are citizens of Brunswick called? Um, I threw out there that they were Brunswickians. And I think the majority of the people said Brunstuckian. Yeah, Brunstuckian, I think, was, was pretty big. Yeah, but I think uh, Brunswickian is a little more demure. Bruns, yeah, that was up there too. So, you know, it's, um, what can we say? It was a slow week for the page. <laughs> it was, it really was. Uh, <laughs> but some... we do have a ton of events coming up, so make sure you grab your calendar before we get there. So the a... other big thing, though, that was discussed this week was, um, what do you think, Brunswick Dispensary, yay or nay? Right. And uh, the yays had it 77%. It's now 79%. It's actually, a little bit whole. Look, actually, it was probably a little bit higher than that. Yeah, it's actually up to 79% now with 520 yeah. votes. Um, somebody added a, a vote here. Uh, Aiden just wants pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he doesn't care whether it's priorities. there or not. Or no. He just wants more pizza, I guess. Don't you usually want pizza, though, after you've been to the dispensary and mm -hmm. partake? I don't know. I mean, you know, <laughs> I don't know. that's what I heard. 
Hello, Brunswick residents. Have you ever thought about launching your own podcast? Just like Lucas and Kimberly, and I'm excited to help you launch your podcast from the comfort of your own home or office for personal or for business. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. My name is Zebulon Thomas, and I'm the host of the podcast in the rough. Get inside my private podcast community mastermind group on Facebook. Inside this group, you get access to this amazing community of other like-minded people launching their podcasts, stay-at-home mom or dads, business owners, and entrepreneurs. Visit thepodcastintherough.com forward slash learn. That is thepodcastintherough.com forward slash learn. All right, let's hit it off. Let's do uh, things to do in the 212. Oh, and there's a lot. Thank goodness, because uh, like you said, it was a quiet week in the group. Let's start with tonight. What do we got going on today? Uh, Joey Amato is over at the backyard tonight, and Mark Alou and Tommy Amato are the three gentlemen. They start at 8 o'clock tonight and go till 11. Again, that's at the backyard. And that's it. That's all we have for Friday. Let's take a look at, uh, yeah, Friday's a slow day, but we got plenty (laughs) to do on Saturday. Uh, Starting with Community Shred Day, 9 a.m. till noon. That's at Brunswick City Hall. A limit of four boxes per person. And the drop-off line closes at noon. So you have to be in line by noon or you won't get your stuff shredded. Yeah. And then you can swing by and get a car wash. That's right. The Brunswick High School Choir, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Wendy's over on 303. Stop and get your car wash. Support the high school choir. And it looks like it's probably by donation. So be kind, be generous, be giving. Stop by and see them. 11 to 2 tomorrow. And then the Brunswick VFW is having a craft show. And that is from 9 a.m. till 2 so you can check that out. And uh, well, if you can't find something to do this weekend, you're not looking or you're not listening. <laughs> one of the two. That's true. Um, here's one that looks like a lot of fun. Grace and Gratitude Yoga is celebrating one year and they're doing it at the Tangled Vine with mimosas. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., uh, gather your friends and head on over there for the one year anniversary. $25 per person includes yoga, mimosa flight, or non alcoholic beverages. And uh, the experience, that looks like a good time, actually. Yeah, congratulations to them on uh, one year. Yeah, way to go, you guys. Speaking of Tangled Vine, we have Island Troy that's going to be there tomorrow night from 6 to 9. So after you've decompressed in the morning uh, with your yoga, you can come back and party it up with Island Troy. 6 o'clock, Tangled Vine, the 7th, which is tomorrow. Yep. Also, 6 to 9 on the 7th is... Furious George Hartwig, modern music from rock, rap, metal, country blues, um, and more. He takes all requests, and Hutch's notorious PIG barbecue truck will be at Hoppy Dudes from 4 to 8 that day. What is the so, name of that truck? Notorious PIG. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> that is just great. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Saturday, The Agenda is playing at Manzo's. If you would like to hear them, check them out. 8.30 tomorrow night at Manzo's. It says it's also birthday fun. I don't know whose birthday I it know. Is. What is I will I know because hmm. I was reading that and then I was staggering. That's why I was stuttering. I was like, um, is it Ross's what does that birthday? mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out, huh? Yep. And that uh, wraps up Saturday. Sunday, uh, last week we talked about uh, picking grapes, and I think the one this one is just as unique and exciting. Butterfly Tagging and Release. The Brunswick Area Historical Society at Heritage Farm will be um, releasing monarch butterflies as they uh, migrate to Mexico. So wow. obviously the um, Sunday at the farm will still be there with all the uh, vendors and things to buy. And then they're going to have music by Ken Urim from 11 to 1. They'll have food, drink, refreshments, including hot dogs available for purchase and uh, drawings and raffles as usual. But the butterflies get released around noon, so don't be late for that. That's something really different. Yeah. I wonder how many butterflies they, cool. they release. 10? Right. I don't know. 50? Hmm. 100? 1,000? I don't know. I don't know. Sounds like a contest in the making right yeah. there. Yeah. Tell us how many and you could win. Dog days. Well, I guess we're not. We're done with the dog days of summer, but Hot Shots is bringing it back for at least the next couple of Sundays because it is football season. Mm-hmm. So here we go with the Dog Pound Football Bash at Hot Shots every Sunday. It looks like come check it out during game time. They've got specials going on. Looks like Sundays from twelve to four. Bud Light buckets for thirteen bucks. Picture. Pitchers, Bud Light pitchers for eight. Uh, Browns themed shots for six and themed cocktails for eight are just some of the many drink specials. And then there's also food specials going on. So uh, check them out every Sunday during 
uh, brown season. Yeah, and I thought this was unique. Uh, they have overtime wings, which means if the game goes into overtime, wings are just a dollar until the game ends. Wait, what? <clears throat> yeah, that's what it says. That's pretty cool. Right. And yeah, uh, if, not that's bad. Not, if that's not your thing, Havana's Choice Cigars is also having a Browns home opener. Um, 4.30 start time. They'll be open for the entire game. And they have an offer of 25% off a single cigar um, each time the Browns score a touchdown. So if you're into cigars, that'd be a great way to watch the game and save. And I know they sit around and enjoy cigars together. Wow. I don't know. I was going to give you my commentary for <clears throat> how the Browns are going to do, but I guess I don't think I will. <laughs> I think moving, I'll just wait. <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. And then further oh my out, goodness. further down the road, we have uh, Medina County Trike and Bike. That is next Friday at 6 p.m. Um, you can still register at trikeandbike.org to participate in that. It's a good fundraising and fitness and philanthropy event it's for children ages 3 to 12. And then, like I said, more information can be found at trikeandbike.org. Absolutely. Monday, September 9th at the Wooden Nickel is um, trivia, and it's 80 sitcoms. And that's going to be at 645, so that's Monday at uh, Wooden Nickel 80s Sitcom Trivia. Come and uh, grab your team and come check it out, 645. Some good food there, too. And then um, getting ready for another clam bake, Manzo Sports and Spirits is having a clam bake on October 6th at 3 p.m. It's $42 per bake and $14 for an extra dozen. That includes a, a dozen middle neck clams, roasted half chicken, steamed sweet potato or basket potato, corn on the cob, homemade coleslaw, and dinner rolls. That's a lot. Sure is. That's a solid bake right there. Yeah. I heard clam bakes are popular around here more than anywhere else in the United States. Yeah. I don't know if that's it's, true. It's a Northeast Ohio thing for some reason. Hmm. So take advantage of it while you can, right? Yeah. All right. Then we've got uh, Mableside Farm has released their fall festival lineup. They're going to kick it off September 14th and 15th with Princesses and Pirates, followed by Hometown Heroes the next weekend, and then Johnny Appleseed the end of September. And then, of course, they go into October. We'll get to that eventually, but for right now, let's start with um, Princesses and Pirates, September 14th. And then uh, here's an event, their third annual soup cook-off fundraiser, an evening of families helping families for Oaks Family Care Center. They do this at uh, Comfort Suites in Brunswick. It's at 5.30 p.m. on October 12th, and you can enter a soup. It includes one free admission, five tastings, and one vote. You pr- you know, prizes for first, second, and third place, or... If you just want to eat some soup, tickets are $15. It includes admission, five tastings, and one vote. Um, In addition to that, there's going to be a lot of other good stuff going on. Yeah, I think we're going to have to, uh, I think it was, it came up really fast last year or something. Something was going on and we couldn't get it together, but either enter a soup, maybe. I think your wife said she would. The baked potato soup. Yeah. Yes. Or the cheeseburger soup or something. There was something different. Mm. Maybe it was baked potato soup, but um, we'll definitely at least have to go and eat at night. Definitely. And we saved the best for last. So this, without a doubt, is something that I think you would be amazing at. I think you should do it. Learn how to play the ukulele. So the Medina County Office for Older Adults, which you don't qualify for yet, but I do, is having a Silver Strings ukulele group on Wednesday evenings at 6.30. They're looking for new members to join. Activity is open to actually anyone of any age, and it is free. So bring along your ukulele and strum along with the strings. Members learn and teach each other all about ukuleles. Group meets in the dining room of the Senior Center in Medina, 246 Northland. If you need more information, call them. Call Jenny at 330-725-9177. That's it. That's all we got. Whew. So uh, How do you, you can't, nothing beats a ukulele, so you can't do it. We can't, you know, we're done now. That's right. And, right? Uh, yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we appreciate you listening to us, and uh, we'll see you next week for episode number 69. All right, you guys. See you soon. Bye. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in here? I don't care. Don't tell me. 
As always, I want to thank you for checking out the Brunswick Group Therapy Podcast and for supporting local Brunswick area businesses. If you enjoyed your time, please check us out online at brunswickgrouptherapy.com where you can continue the conversation with a voice message that may be featured on future podcast episodes or posts. You can also follow us on our Brunswick Group Therapy social media pages on both YouTube and Facebook. If you own or manage an area business and would like to be featured in an upcoming Brunswick Group Therapy podcast, please reach out to Kimberly or I through any of our social media pages. We are passionate about supporting local and it's the reason for this podcast. Thank you for joining us for another therapy session. A reminder that the views, thoughts, and opinions expressed on this program are solely those of the participants and do not represent any business, group, employer, or organization. The material information presented here is for general information and entertainment purposes only.